Let's talk to I Granny bingo here. Parlor she wandered out of. <laughs> I wonder what bingo parlor. <laughs> Are you trying to cop a feel, young man? Not really. Good, because you're doing it all wrong. Kids today wouldn't know how to cop a good feel if it pinched them on the ass. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How are the slots treating you today? Get bent, loser. Excuse me. Did I say something to offend you? Cram it. Am I disturbing your rhythm or something? Yes. And your breath smells like a sea urchin died in your mouth. And you tried to cover up the rotten stink with lemon pledge. You're fun. <laughs> You're fun. I always stay polite. You give the old lady a sniff. Oh. You smell like mothballs and pepto bismol. That's my perfume. Evening in assisted living. Okay. Ah, oh, I hate to try this one. Well. Let's take one for the team. I don't know what the hell that is, but it sure needs ironing. <laughs> it sure needs iron. Okay. Let's Larry, see. that could be you in twenty yeah. years, <laughs> or much, much sooner. Or much, much sooner. <laughs> Seriously, this is just the the best narrator you ever. Peer closely at the man's clothing and finger it gingerly. Is this polyester? What's wrong with that? I've been wearing polyester for almost 50 years. It's great stuff. Doesn't stain, doesn't wrinkle, you throw it in the wash, there's nothing not to like about it. You don't have to tell me. I love polyester. Sometimes I don't think women appreciate what a practical, sensible, and stylish choice it is. And what that says about a man. Listen, I spent my life being shot down by women for wearing polyester. And I don't care. It's a miracle fabric. Right on! Tell like it is, mister. Call me Larry. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so weird. Oh, my name is Larry, too. <laughs> you don't look like you're having much fun. I know. I should go back to my regular job. What's your regular job? I sell software. Oh, just God. Just lost wages to try to find true love. Tell me about it. I just did. <laughs> Tell me about it. I just did. Okay, this, this is this is like... You give the man yeah, a good it's just... hearty whiff. Larry from the what future or something. That? Probably my breath freshener. Sometimes I worry that I use too much. Am I using too much? No. You're using the perfect amount. Thanks. So are you, by the way. Your breath smells great. It's a pleasure to speak to someone who really cares about their breath. I agree. Yeah. Yeah! Get a room, you two. <laughs> Get a room, you two. Ah. Uh, a long, long time ago, I had one that looked just like that. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, that's it for this guy. Let's oh, look at him. Oh, man! That hair is so 70s! <laughs> really? He's gonna complain about his Jeez. hair. Yeah. You even feel too cool for the room. I know, it's a burden. So, like, are you some sort of counterculture type? Rebelling against injustice by symbolically giving the man the finger with your freakish hairstyle? Nah, I just like pissing off my mom. <laughs> Just like pissing off my mom. You approach the dude and sniff surreptitiously a few times. What? Sorry, man. I don't have any of that stuff on me. <laughs> you unzip in front of the dude. In front oh, of man, the dude. Why'd you have to do that? You're making me nauseous. He just ate it wiener schnitzel. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's head to the back. Oh, by the way, here are the oh, the the left one in the front. Now that's Blackjack. a fancy elevator. It looks sleek and brand new. Here, this, this, this looks a lot better. I remember this, this being in here, but uh, at the, um, at the actual, uh, well, it's, now it's just a retro version, but uh, the original Larry. You take the piece of paper. And I think you could, you could either hardly see it, or you just have to, had to guess or something to, for it to be in here. But this is, as you can see, membership card. <laughs> Thankfully, only. So that's uh, that's your pass in for the discotheque. Examine the pass closely for trap doors and hidden keys. No such luck. Okay. Oh yeah. By the way, um, the biggins is full of helpful information. The two tales of three free articles tells about how one enterprise burglar will break into an apartment by attaching bungee gourds. The do-it-yourself section talks about um, how you can make your own perfume with 
flowers and alcohol. We will need that later on. Also mentions the addition of whale vomit and a glandular secretion, civet, extracts from the, yeah, this word, glands of a cat-like animal. Such revolting stuff would actually make a perfume better. Um, I think I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you the next time. Let's let's walk over here. Anything? Oh, thank God, a human being! Come, join us. How you doing tonight? Okay. All right. I didn't want your whole life story. This guy actually tells some funny jokes. Wow. There's a show going. Larry, keep your voice down. Wow. There's a show going. Now There's I lost my train there. of thought. And the bartender looks around for something to give him. And under the bar, in a shoebox, he's got a turtle that he found that he was going to give his son that night. And he thinks, ah, oh, what the hell. And he gives the turtle in the box to the drunk who staggers out happy. A few months later, the drunk staggers in again, picks up three darts, and makes three bullseyes again. He says, I got three in a row again. What do I win this time? The bartender only vaguely remembers the whole thing and says, I, I don't know. What did I give you last time? And the drunk says, last time you gave me a roast beef on a hard roll. Ew, don't laugh at that. There was this guy who got drunk so Ew, much, he lost his that. job at the butcher shop for putting his organ in the deli slicer. They said, what did you do that for? He said, hey, she came on to me. Hey, screw you, that was funny. That's got to do it for me for uh, now. Yeah. I'll be uh. back. Thank you, Chaz Rockamundo on the drums, everybody. We've got Tracy Von Felcher coming I think right I'm gonna, gonna make like an, um, like an episode of this. <laughs> that was quick. I think we're gonna make an episode of that uh, with with him telling all the jokes, and I'll just upload it, and so so you can all see the all the jokes. It's, it has a lot of funny jokes, but it takes pretty long, like five minutes or so. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue. Maybe I'll I'll uh, record that later on. She's gorgeous, and she seems like a filthy angel. What more like can a... any man want? <laughs> you will never get her, Larry. She's totally in love with her agent slash bodyguard slash chauffeur. Well, that kind of thing always has a happy ending. <laughs> I don't know who wrote the music and lyrics for this song, but whoever they are, they're not getting paid nearly enough. But I've run out of love to donate. <laughs> so random with the text. Left in my eyes. I'm tracking. She smells like tobacco or leather on a rainy night. Like something you want to hold close and never let go. I could tell so if she was going to be trouble. So I avoided her like a plague. I don't know what I'm doing. Stay, but will you stretch your goals? Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing here. You sit on this chair. Darn oh, you can't actually I'm hear it now. Here to enjoy that. <laughs> oh, you can't do anything you here. You pull the seat out slightly and stand up. The whoopee cushion begins to slowly reinflate. Okay. Um, this was the thing. Uh, there was a guy selling apples for one uh, one dollar a piece, and if for some reason if you buy the apple and then go here, the show is over. So I'm not sure why they did that, but uh, you can't see the show then anymore. So that's why I wanted to show you guys uh, this bit of Welcome show. Welcome to Chef Jeff's American yeah, Tavern Bar and Grill with the gross. all day all night buffet. TV chef Jeff Hillary's First Lost Wages restaurant features many of the signature dishes from his popular program. Kapwing! More onion powder! But oh no! <laughs> Somebody has spilled 12 globs of food that aren't from the buffet! Can you find all the poorly hidden globs of extra food? Food? Well, if you just look at this picture, uh, you see... This it's a bin of hearty stick to your teeth steel cut goat meal. Ugh. And I see hot sauce. It's one of those hot sauce bottles with a catchy name that dares you to use it. But you can't pick it up. 
You don't need the hot sauce. At least not yet. Not yet. So the thing to get the hot sauce here is to actually uh, pick up all the nasty goos pieces here. Congratulations! You found a sample <laughs> of Congratulations! Hey you guys, thank you for watching Stalkers. Remember to like, favorite, comment and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye! I'm not sure if you recognize any of this or maybe even the music. Well, so let's see. <laughs> Laser Suit Larry. This is the reloaded version.